Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to answer some of the questions that is related to descriptive statistics. So first of all, let's take a look on the data that we have. So we are given a group of data set here, consists of 10 numbers. So first thing is we need to look for the mean. So the way in finding the mean is very simple. We just have to plus all the numbers together. 1 plus the 5, uh, sorry, 1 plus the 4, plus the 5, plus 2, plus the 3, plus the 5, 7, 8, 9, and also 5. And then we have to divide by 10. So what we need to do, we just have to plus all the number here together. It becomes 49 over 10. And that's how we get the mean of 4.9. After that, we need to look for the median. So before we look for the median, we need to rearrange the number in the ascending order. So this is what we do. We try to rearrange all the number here. And then we have three times of five. And then after that will be seven, eight, and nine. So what we need to do in order to look for the median is we need to understand where is the location of the median. So if I want to figure out the location of the median, we have one trip. So over here, we can use the 10 plus the 1 and divide by 2. Okay, and it will tell us the median is somewhere in the 5.5. Meaning to say, this is the one in between number 5 and number 6. So which one is the number 5 and which one would be the number 6? So we need to calculate. This is number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5. So this is number 5. So number 6 will be the next one. Okay. So the one in between the number 5 and number 6 is actually 5. So how do I know it's 5? The working will be pretty easy. What we need to do is we take the median. We write down the median, sorry. And after that, we just take the number 5 plus the number 6 and divide it by 2. So we get the answer of 5 for the median. Okay, as simple as this. Then next, we proceed with the mod. So the mod is basically referred to the number that appear the most. Indirectly, I would say it's 5. Because the 5 here is actually appear for 3 times. So the mod will be 5. Then next will be the geometric mean. So how do I look for the geometric mean? The working is also very easy. What we need to do is we look for the 10, root, 10 roots of the product for all the numbers. So what we need to do is I multiply all the number here. I multiply all the number given to us, the 10 number given to us. Okay, why we are using the 10 roots? 10 roof here is because of we have 10 numbers. Okay, that's why we use a 10 root. Okay, so over here we need to multiply all the numbers together. Okay, and then we shall get the following answer. So you may get ready with your calculator and press in the calculator and look for the answer. So over here I have the answer. After I multiply all the 10 numbers, I have 1,512,000. Then after that, I just have to look for the 10 roots of the 1,512,000. Then I will get the answer of 4.15. As simple as this. Then after that will be the range. The range is simply using the maximum number minus the minimum number. So the maximum number here will be 9. The minimum number will be 1. So the range will be just... 8 as simple as that okay then next we proceed with the interquartile range so let me rewrite the data set again we have three times of five then after that will be seven eight and nine okay so bear in mind that our median just now is somewhere in between number five and number six and this is the number five and this is the number six okay this is how we figure out the Median. So median is actually the one that separates the data set into two parts. Okay, so for interquartile range, 
is actually equals to the third quartile minus the first quartile. So how do I know what is the third quartile of the data set? And how do I know the first quartile of the data set? So the first quartile here, it simply means the median, or we can say the middle number in the first half. So in the first half, we have five number. So the one in the middle will be actually three. So the first quartile will be three. So the third quartile is actually the middle in the second half. So the second half, we have another five numbers, and the third quartile is actually here. So the third quartile will be seven. So seven minus three, we have four. So the answer for the interquartile range is actually four. So for quartile deviation, it's equivalent to the third quartile minus the first quartile. And after that, we need to divide it by two. So the third quartile minus the first quartile, we have 4, and then divided by 2, and we get the answer of 2. So the quartile deviation will be just 2. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you are enjoying it.